So you launch a rocket and you get it back and when you pick it up you notice that the rocket has a zipper in it. A zipper is a tear in the tube and you want to fly that rocket on the same day. So what do you do? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I'm going to show you how to repair a zipper, how to do a field repair so you can get back to flying a rocket really quick. Now a zipper is a tear in the tube, typically from the shock cord or the uh, shroud lines, um, cutting through the paper tube like that. Now the, when you're out on the field to repair a zipper, you want to glue it back together. And I like to use uh, some fiberglass cloth and I usually keep a little a little repair patch in my uh, range box so that for this very reason um, if you don't have fiberglass cloth you can use almost any cloth you know an old t-shirt will work um, maybe an old parachute that's all ripped up and torn cutting a little piece of cloth out of it now when you get back to your house after the launch you're gonna re you're going to um, completely repair it and that involves cutting it off and splicing a new tube on and that is covered in one of our previous videos on how to repair a zipper but when you're doing a field repair um, just a patch will take care of it um, so I'm going to just um, cut the patch just a little bit bigger than the zipper on the tube so The thing about fiberglass is it has a lot of little whiskers on it. Um, you're just going to cut all those off or sand them off later. So I want it just a little bit bigger than my cut right there. Just like that. Um, then I'm going to take a, a plastic bag and some water thin super glue. And you're going to need your safety glasses because whenever you use water thin super glue, you don't want it splattering in your eyes. Now, you can't touch this uh, with um, once you have the glue on it because you're going to bond your skin to it. So, that's what the paper bag is for. So, first, I'm going to put a, just a drop on the rocket. Come on, it's clogged. <laughs> Always happens. And then I'm going to take the paper bag, and that's what I'm going to use to spread around the glue. Because it won't stick to the bag. And then just keep working the glue into the fiberglass cloth. Like that. And then uh, once the, the uh, super glue kicks off and water thin will kick off really quick, uh, you're basically ready to fly. Um, you can see I got some a little bit hanging over the edge and I forgot some sandpaper, but you can just sand that off. It'll sand off really easy. Um, if on the inside of your tube, I don't know if you can see this, but if it's rough on the inside, just take a little piece of sandpaper and rub that down also just to flatten it out. And then your rocket is ready to fly again. So that's just a couple of, you know, a couple of minutes and you're back, back to flying rockets. Um, so my name again was Tim Van Milligan. Hey, uh, while I got you here, have you uh, checked out our Facebook page? Um, at Apogee, every week, usually on a Monday, we ask a question. And one of the questions we recently asked was, how, how high was the highest flight you've ever done with a model rocket? And then people like you get to respond. And, and on that particular question, Ed Dewey wrote in, and he said he flew 17,663 feet. Wow, that's impressive, Ed. Um, so if you want to participate in our questions of the week, come to the Facebook page of Apogee Components and also subscribe to these videos down here at the bottom 
there's a subscribe button. And then off to the side, there are some other videos that you might want to check out. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, may all your rockets fly straight and true.